Hi, it's Dorothy Kiney with Scrapbooking Quebec, and this week I'm joining the Punched Out Thursday gang. We share ideas every Thursday on what to do with your punches. I'm going to put links to Ronnie's, Kathy's, and Krista's channels below, so be sure to check them out. And today I'm going to be creating this layout, and it's basically a stash bust. I have paper from Amy Tangerine, Echo Park, Pink Paisley, and I'll be using many different punches, but basically I'm going to be featuring this one, which is Stampin' Up's Triple Banner Punch. I did do some preparation in advance. I prepared this frame style foundation with three sheets of paper and I gutted two of them. I also matted those two photos in black cardstock and I'm just showing you the scraps of paper that I have on my desk. Now I do have that triple banner punch which cuts banners in three different widths but I also have a basket of punches and I use some of these and what I use I will list in the information box below. So I've really sped up the film here and basically what I'm doing is I'm taking three different printed papers and cutting out a bunch of strips in one inch strips, one and a half inch strips, and two inch strips. That's the widths that that punch takes to make those banners. And I'm cutting them at different lengths and then I'm snipping the ends to create banners. So obviously you can do this with scissors, but what I'm doing is creating kind of a border across the middle of the page that's kind of random, all different lengths and widths. Then I adhered it to the page. I stopped it because I was kind of doing the same thing over and over again. And now what I'm going to do is create another border that's going to go on top of those banners across the middle. And that's where I'll be placing my photos, my title, my text, and a bit of embellishment. Um, what I'm going to do right now is create a journaling box. So I'm going to get out this border maker system by Creative Memories, and that is the notebook border punch, which is my favorite one part of this system. And I'm creating myself a journaling box. You may have noticed by now all measurements are on the screen for what I'm doing. Um, the banners, however, really the measurements aren't that important. What is important for that is that you make kind of a random, you know, scattered looking border across the middle of the page. So now what I'm going to do is create my photo cluster in the middle of this border. And I'm playing around with placement a bit. I want to make sure I have enough room for my title. So you're going to see me get out my stickers in a moment and I already put my title which is my tripod on top of wax paper just so I could play around with placement a bit. I'd like to point out that the O in that is actually a zero and the D is actually an upside down P. Anyway I was getting down to the end of my letters in this case. Now what I'm doing is creating decorations. So I have an acorn builder punch. It's a retired punch by Stampin' Up! And I'm creating some acorns. And basically those builder punches, you punch it out and there are different pieces and you adhere them together. So that's what you see me doing right there. And I'm adhering mine to cardstock because I want them to be a bit thicker so I can put them on foam adhesive. And I'm also adding ink around the edges. I'm only gonna do one of those now, but what I'm showing you are two acorns I made with heart punches and circle punches. So the one up top I made with a one and a half inch heart and then a one and a half inch circle. And the one in the bottom, which is a little bit different, the heart is just a little bit smaller at one and a quarter inches. And you can scroll back and freeze the screen if you want to see because I put measurements on the screen. Now what I'm doing is cutting out two different kinds of leaves. Again, I'm using absolute total scraps here. It's all part of this stash kit. And as you can see, there's even the branding strip on those green leaves, but I'm just covering it up with a little bit of ink. And once it's all tucked under, I'm not even going to see those white stems. So now, as you can see, I have a pile of acorns and leaves to my right, and I'm going to create some embellishment clusters. So the first thing I'm going to do is adhere this border together and put it on the middle of the page. And then what I'll do is place my photos, and then I will start building these embellishment clusters. Now you may notice that my embellishments are in kind of wonky colors. Well, the acorns are blue with orange checkered tops, and some of the leaves are actually punched out with floral paper. Um, 
You'll see later on when I build these embellishment clusters, you can tell they are leaves and you can tell that they are acorns. It's something I like to do. Number one, I find it fun. Number two, I'm using up my scraps, so that's fun. And also, it perfectly coordinates with my page because it's the same papers, or at least it coordinates with these papers, so it kind of works with the layout. Anyway, obviously acorns aren't blue and orange, but hey, it works for me, and uh, I don't know, it's something to try if you haven't tried it before. So as you can see, I'm building up my clusters, but I decide to take this label punch, and I'm just cutting it in half, and I'm going to tuck it underneath, and it makes a really nice tab. I have that little word there, it's a Vicky Booten decoration, and it says balance, so I'm going to tuck that in there as well. That as well was part of my stash kit. This is my How to Kill a Kit with Style kit for the month of April 2020, and I'm really getting down to the end now. So as you can see, I'm just building these clusters, placing my title. I'm going to build another one over on the left. Same thing, I have one acorn there, a few leaves, and then what I end up doing is adding a few more of those green leaves towards the bottom. Then I'm going to speed up my film and you're going to see that I adhere all of that rather quickly to the page exactly where I had placed it. But that is it for this layout really. It came together nice and easy. Basically, I used that triple banner punch, which really has a huge impact on the page. Obviously, I could have done that with scissors, no problem, but I really like that punch, so that's why I decided to feature it today. And it's still available, by the way, if ever you are interested. It's particularly helpful when you have a whole bunch of banners on a page. You know, when you can use one or two banners on a page, it's not a big deal to snip the end, but here I have a whole bunch of them. So anyway, I really like it. And aside from that, I use that acorn builder, but I did show you another alternative how to create acorns if you do not have the acorn builder. And I also used two different leaves punches as well as a label punch. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to Scrapbooking Quebec if you haven't already. And please check out the other ladies. Their links are listed below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.